Hey, welcome back. This is Shelly. If you don't know me yet, I'm um, a first year brand new flower farmer, I'm starting from scratch. So uh, I was previously a speech therapist and some of you may already know that I experienced um, a type of stroke that I lost my speech for a little while. And so I do these um, unscripted as a way to help myself uh, build back some of the skills that, that I had prior to my stroke. Um, today we're going to talk about prepping. And to me, this is really a huge topic. So it's going to be challenging for me to whittle it down into just some bite-sized pieces. But um, toward the end, we're going to compare the ideas of prepping against what the scriptures say in the Bible. And we're going to begin with um, some information that I gleaned from Lauren Matthias that does the Hidden Tree Crime podcast. Okay, I have to have coffee. Excuse me for a minute. And um, she interv interviewed on her podcast about three weeks ago a lady named Sherry, and I think it's D-O-W-D-L-E. Um, and she's known as the woman who recorded Melanie Gibb telling about these events where you can tell that Melanie Gibb already knows that... Um, People are dead. She already, uh, she has a lot of knowledge about this group. She's, she's very involved in it. All right, you've got to move over. So, it was a, it was an intriguing interview. It's like I'm continually distracted. Okay. The portion of the interview that, um, piqued my attention was um, how these groups had met together for prepping. And if you don't know, that's um, where some people just go to an extreme of, um, there we go, my speech again. It's okay, we're gonna do this. Uh, that's, a, that's a place that people um, develop a great deal of fear about the future. So, I call it hoarding, and I'm sure that the Mormon church would totally disagree with me, and that's okay. I'll probably get some hate, hate comments, and, and that's, that's completely fine with me. So, I like to see how others think, and how they're thinking at that time is, um, is valid. It's... How everyone thinks is valid. That's why I enjoy the global kinds of talking communication about different ideas. So, back to you. That's where people may store up um, bins and bins of water. Maybe they have 4,000 um, cans of tuna fish. And pack all of this stuff often in a garage, sometimes underground, because they have uh, fears about what's going to happen. Are we going to have a disaster? And I want to say that I believe it's wise to be prepared um, to an extent. We have to make sure that those fears don't run amok in our minds and allow ourselves the peace to be here today, to enjoy to the day, to enjoy today, and have joy in it. When we constantly consume our minds with in times and how bad could it be, and <clears throat> all of those <clears throat> ideas are actually things that honestly we don't know. And I'll just comment that Jesus um, told his disciples that... Um, even he doesn't know when, when the end will be. And um, so we'll get back to that in just a minute. 
but Sherry talked about being part of this prepper movement and then joining this group called Avow. So most of you that have followed the Lori Vallow trial, you probably know quite a bit about Avow. They had to pay a membership fee and pretty quickly when she got into this group, there, there seemed to be so much pressure on telling everyone to have at least one calendar year of supplies and build up your stockpile. <clears throat> and it was not only that, begin to pressure each other to buy these huge, um, like expensive tents, um, things that realistically they probably would never use, but um, saying that you have to. And then it kind of got to the point um, when she backed out of it was when they were saying, <clears throat> okay, if you don't have all of these supplies, then you won't be able to get into our compound during the tribulations. You'll only be welcome if you have a year of supplies and blah, 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 whatever else they tacked on to that. So that develops an exclusionary um, system and it totally discounts, in my opinion, all of the love and the kindness and the goodness that we have in this world. <clears throat> it places a fear in your mind of you're not going to measure up and how to. It, 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 it takes everything away from today. <clears throat> so, um, wow, I can't remember if I said this. <laughs> yeah. 